Hello everyone, welcome back and today we are at Ford Market to find items to sell on eBay and Amazon and also sometimes Vinted. So in today's video I don't find many items at all but that just shows you that you don't always find items at the car booth but I do find some stuff and it is quite interesting. So definitely stick around and especially towards the end of the video because I will be showing you all the items I got how much they cost me and how much I'm going to list them for as well on eBay. So if you enjoy these type of videos, I really appreciate it. Did leave a like and also if you subscribed as well, that would be amazing. But that is enough talking from me. I'm going to let you enjoy this video. Uh, no, it's, I have a normal. I don't know, uh, it's all train station uh, stuff. Uh, Smith, Fiberflex. Work a few quid now. Hey, all these lamp shades you also get this Oh, girlfriend. How much time I have to cut this? Uh, they're a tenner each, I believe, 20 to the foot. Alright, cheers. Mm. Well, I'm trying not to. <laughs> Listen, I'm selling today, don't make me laugh. I'm supposed to be on my stool. I'm not on my stool. Do you want a bit of rat? Like it all free. Do you want a bit of rat? No, I think I've got some. Yeah. I get all three of those. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Something like that. Just check the condition. Yeah. Okay. It's alright, it's fine. And, uh, you pop it in the bag, you know, like, keep clean. Oh, sorry, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, just talking to That's a map. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just want to see. Would you do 20 for the lot? No. Okay. We'll do 25. Okay. Okay. Later. Okay. Okay. Yeah, of course. Thank you. And they're still on there. I haven't. How what? much are they? Let me see those. They're yeah. a quid each. Sorry? Let me see these. They're a pound each, mate. Mm -hmm. I haven't got it. What's that what you got? Oh, sorry. Nah, it's expensive. That's what you mean. Let's have a look at that controller. Cheers, mate. How much is the controller? Oh, a couple of quid. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Seven pound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven pound for a lot, yeah. ...and a heavy burden of sensible adulthood. Growing up in a university town, I heard plenty of such stories from my delighted mother. By the car, I left the top of the Senate house in the dead of night to be discovered next morning as if it had driven there. Thank you. My favourite is of the undergraduate. Um, do you just want that one piece? Yes, or do you want the... Uh, just one piece to be fine. Uh, that is 
Twenty-five. 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 Some of the irresponsible friends have dressed up as police and were about to move them on. They're deemed twenty-five. About the hoisted we'll do twenty on it. Yeah. Yeah. How much on the Lego? The big Sorry? one. How much on the Lego? I wanted 150 for it. 150, okay. Alright, the figures and everything are absolutely immaculate. Right, okay. And it's all there. On top of that, you've got another little set which I'll put with it. Oh, right, okay. Alright, okay, which again is all there. Yeah, okay, I'll think about that one. Yeah. Right, thank you. Stonking. I know you two bought off me before. Have I? I? Yeah, Lego figures and stuff. Was it me? I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm often here selling Lego. Oh, oh right, okay. Alright, okay. I, d I haven't bought that much Lego in really in the past. Yeah. The figures. There's loads of figures in the box as well. Okay. How much are figures roughly? They vary depending on which one it is on Bricklink and stuff like that. Okay. Um, generally speaking, for the new ones in the, in the thing, I will use the Bricklink okay. average price. I see. Okay, and that way you get them. Yeah. yeah. You know, okay. and then a bit of a barter between us. Yeah, okay. Alright, so if you want to go through the box, there's loads. There's loads more to be sorted in a minute. There's loads more bits going in. Okay, I, I'll right. come back round. Basically, once they hit this, right, not the Batman, once they hit this, right, it's mm. basically £1.50 a figure, build okay. your own and take an accessory to go with it. Oh, okay. Alright, and then yeah. it's free for, you know, for four quid. Okay. Alright. Right. Okay. Okay. Give okay. you an idea, so. Thank yeah. you. Okay, right. I should walk around and come back and yeah. have a think about it. Yeah. What's that one? I've never seen something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, shall ha I shall have enough a look at it if that's okay. Are you trying to decide? Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, look, we've researched all of this. We've gone oh, right. through every single thing. There's so much money to be made. Yeah. I mean, that, even though yeah. it makes me, it it makes me sick in my stomach, yeah. just letting it go. I'm not even saying it because... Yeah. What is your real best on it? I, I, I don't think he's going to go any lower. No, to be okay. no. I mean, you've, have you looked at... Have you had a Google? I had a, only have one piece I have, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. What is your real best on it? For you, what did I tell you? Three fifty. For you, two fifty. Two fifty. That be it. Rock bomb. Rock. Have a little look through it. If that's yeah, okay. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah. Just have a look through. Uh, I do 250. Yeah, I have to go and get the money though, if that's no problem, okay. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, those I'll figures, see you can have all those figures in there. That's the 50. Thank you very Thank much. You. Sir. And I'll put everything into bags, so that's yeah, okay. Yeah. Can you get back to it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, I am now back from the Thursday car boot and this is all the stuff right here that I got from the car boot. I also got a few more bits as well that I will show you in a second. But I did spend a lot of money today on the Thursday car boot. I never usually spend this type of money. But some of the first things I'm going to show you are these golf club heads. Now I think these are for the free wood. And yeah, I've got three of these for £20 and these go for around about £17 each on eBay. So I've got three of them there. They're all brand new with their tags. So yeah, that's some decent profit in these. So if I sell two of those, I'll be in profit, and then the other one is just all profit. So that is all good. That is some good money there on those uh, free wood driver heads, I think they are, or free wood uh, heads. So, yeah, they're all good. I also got this PlayStation backwards compatible as well. And yeah, only reason why I know it is backwards compatible is because of the USB. So it's got four USBs on the front. So one, two, three, four, you can see them just there. That is backwards compatible and these usually are worth a lot of money. And also the backwards compatible do have a little door on here. So a little door like that. 
So yeah, I got this for £20. I think I should be able to, if it's working, I should be able to get 120 for it, or maybe a little bit more. But if it's broken, it's probably worth about £50. I sell that on Vinted if it's broken. I got this controller here. I'm not too sure what it's worth. Uh, it could be a fiver. I'm not too sure. I don't think it's a genuine one. I think it's actually an off-brand one. But yeah, I got that for two pound uh, with these iPods. So I got five iPods here. I'm not. I think they're worth about thirteen pounds each. And uh, sadly, this one has got a little crack in the screen. I didn't see that. So this one might just go for spares and repairs with two pound or something like that. And these here cost me a pound each. So I paid five pounds for all of these, and then two pound for that controller just there. I haven't tested them all yet because I don't have a charger for them. So yeah, I need to get myself a charger. Hopefully they all work. If not, I will sell them for a couple of pound each on Vinted and just make my money back and maybe make a pound profit or so. Also got this little tin as well. I'm not too sure what it's worth. I paid a pound for that. Uh, but yeah, it could be worth a couple of pound, ten pound. I don't want to think it's worth ten pound, but maybe five pound. Yeah, I'm not too sure on that one. But I thought I'd just pick it up and just give it a go, see what it's like. Also from the same sale as that PlayStation 3, I got this Star Wars game. And that's worth about £12. I think I paid £3 for that game. So yeah, not too bad at all. Got to test if it works, but I'm sure they do. If not, just give the uh, game a little bit of a clean and then it should work. So one more thing, this uh, Airfix. I never got this on camera, I don't think, but I, I got this for free. For some reason, the seller wanted £3. We offered him £2, but then he just said, just take it. And uh, so yeah, we got that for free. So it's worth about £17. The box is a little bit damaged. So I might ask about 12 because the box is damaged. Uh, but yeah, free item there. So now on to the big stuff, all this train stuff. So I paid £250 for all the train stuff I bought just here. You can see all of it here. And yeah, it's a bunch of it here. I've also got a bunch of cars as well and a bunch of electrics for this train stuff. Now £250 is a lot of money. I usually don't spend that type of money at the car boot on just some items from one seller. But this stuff is quite good stuff. So this train just over here at the back is worth around about £100 on its own if it's fully working. So I need to test it. I need to get my, my own train set out and uh, actually test these trains. But they look like they should be working. They look like they're in a good condition. So hopefully they're working. That's about 95 to to £100. That's what I see on eBay. And this one here is the same type of train. This one just here. Uh, so yeah, that should go for around about the same price. But I have to double check that one. Also got another train here. Not too short. That's worth probably about £60, £70 pound for this train. Need to test if it's working though. Also got a smaller train here. I've seen one very similar to this. The only difference is that the train is grey on eBay. And they're asking £135 for it. So I'm not too sure if it's actually worth that. I will have to do a bit more research on that one. But yeah, I will leave stuff on screen if I find the actual prices for them. This one over here is not worth so much. Uh, I think because uh, somebody has hand painted this one. So yeah, I'm not too sure if this one is worth much because of that reason. So yeah, that one might only be about £15 uh, because it's been hand painted. Also, this train just here as well. This one's worth about 20 I think, or £25. So yeah, I do need to test if that works. So yeah, that's not too bad. Also got some carriages there as well. I'm not too sure what these are valued at. Probably about five to seven pounds each, something like that. Also got a few brand new electrics as well, some lights for them. So yeah, this is what you would put around the world. I guess you make a little map up and yeah, you'd put these around. And these are brand new. I think these are about seven pounds each maybe on these. I'm not quite sure. I have not researched these at all. So these carriages up here, they are around about 25 pounds each. I think they are. So yeah, I've got quite a few here. So I've got eight in total. There's some behind here as well. They are just all stacked up. That one's got a cracked case, but yeah, it does look to be all right. So yeah, I've got eight of these in total. So yeah, I'm not too sure on the value of these, but I will add a few on screen if I find some. Also, I've got a bunch of electrics, like lights and stuff like that. You see there's some lights here. These have all been used. So all of these used electrics all down here, coming down here and in here as well. All these boxes around here. These are all used electrics. I'm selling them for £150 on bids on eBay. Now, I basically just added up all the prices of what this stuff's worth. And I think that is just about right as a uh, bidding price. Because if I think if I added to buy it now, it would be about 250 nearly. I added it all up as, so I did knock quite a lot of money off. And uh, hopefully, they sell at £150. i am happy with £150 on them. That's just all the electrics. And in here, it's just some random pieces. Also, I did get some lights over here as well. These are brand new lights, as you can see just there. So I think these could be worth £10 each. I've got to research them. But I think roughly I saw people sending about £10 each. There is not many online, only from the US. So, yeah, I'd have to look into those. I also did get some tracks as well. There's tons of tracks in here. Sadly, some of them are not really worth anything. I don't think tracks are really worth too much. But for a little bundle here, I should be able to get £15 for this little bundle. And the one down here is probably about five in, in the bag. And this stuff here might only go for like, I don't know, 10, 20 pounds. I'm not too sure for these tracks. Also, randomly, I got these two boxes uh, with the, all this track stuff. Uh, it was just at the bottom. I didn't know what's in the boxes. I thought there might just be more tracks in them. But yeah, just random pieces. Now, I've been looking on eBay and some of these cars are going for a lot of money. I think this one goes for around about 120 pounds. 
and so does the other one just there but they are a little bit scuffed these ones as you can see they do need a little bit of a repair so i'm probably just selling them spares repairs might ask about 80 pounds for it i'm not too sure or take an offer on them yeah somebody might like to repair them uh, i've no idea what they're really worth because yeah they're a little bit battered and that one down there is missing the back wheels i don't know if you can see that but that little chest board down there that's worth about 25 pounds and that is complete so yeah that's quite good and i've just got some other random little bits in there that might be just worth selling separately so yeah not really too much in there also i've got a bunch of figures as well so these figures are all random and uh yeah they're worth about 15 pounds nearly per horse guys so yeah 10 to 15 pounds for these guys and i've got a whole bag full of just random pieces so yeah there should be some good money in these hopefully i just need to check if they're all in good condition uh, but at the moment they do look pretty good so in total that is everything i got from today's car boot there should be some really decent profit in here hopefully i just got to make my 250 back from all this train stuff now if i sell these three trains if they're all working that should be my money back in these three trains and the rest of it should be all profit hopefully so if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like hit that subscribe button i'll see you all next time